Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have seen that how to do the setup for the database and also how to enable the authentication in our device in our application. So if you haven't watched that video, then just go to description there. I put the link for my previous video or you can check out the playlist. So in this video, what we are going to see is, let me just show you quickly. So this is the complete application. Let me just open it. And this page we are going to design into this one and also we are going to backend code for this. So when I click on this, here you can see that this is encrypted and we can also decrypt it. So this all task we are going to do in the current video. So let's start with that. Let me close the application and we are already into this one. So first thing what we have to do is we have to start the designing the UI design. So for that, we have to go to the home fragment, double click on this, go to layout and go to this home fragment. Over here, we don't need this text view because we have added this in order to see the difference between different fragments. So let me just remove this one. And this is a frame layout, right? So I need to change it to scroll layout. Scroll view. Okay. After this, what we have to do is the layout width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content. After this, what we have to do is we have to set the layout gravity gravity to center and inside this one what we are going to do is we are going to add linear layout linear layout for this one the width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content and the gravity for this one will be center vertical and orientation will be vertical Inside this one, we are going to use text input layout. This is uh, from the Google, which for this, we have already added the dependency in our first video. So make sure you have the that. Okay. The layout width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content. Okay. For this one, style will be, style will be at the rate style slash with material component dot text input dot outline box. This one you have to select. After this margin, we are going to give some margin from the start as well. So margin start will be 16 dp and margin top will be 6 dp and margin end will be 16 dp again. After this, inside this one, I'm going to give it a hint. Uh, enter text to encrypt. Let's close this. Inside this one, this is the outside box, right? After this, inside this one, add with input, um, text input edit text, right? So let's do that. Text input edit text. This one also from the com.google.android and the width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content. After this, I'm going to give it an ID for this one. So ID, the ID, it will be txt encrypt. After this, what we are going to do is we are going to give it a gravity, gravity to top. After this, I'm going to give input type to text multi-line. You can see this now the text view is visible over here with the hint, uh, enter text to encrypt. After this, I'm going to give the max lines. So lines will be six over scroll mode to this one always. After this, we are going to set a scroll bar style, scroll bar style to vertical. Style to inside, yeah, inside in insect. Okay. After this, we are going to set a scroll bars to vertical. After this, we have to set scroll bar horizontal to false. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to set the text color, whatever the text within this one will be in the black. So at the red color black, you can select any other color of your choice and text size will be 18 SP. Let me just close this. Now the task over here is done. After this input field, next thing what we have to do is we have to design the two buttons. If you have observed in the application, let me show you quickly. 
So once this is designed, after this we need one uh, layout. Inside that we need two buttons that will be horizontally, not vertically. Okay. So let's design that. Let me minimize this. After this, we are going to need one again linear layout. This linear layout and the width will be match parent and height will be. I'm going to give it a fixed size that is 80 dp. And for inside this one, the gravity will be gravity will be center and orientation will be horizontal. As I have told you that we are going to have two buttons to this one and with the horizontal layout. Next thing, uh, we have to add the buttons, two different buttons. So I'm going to add material button. This one, com dot, let me scroll a little bit up. Com dot, uh, google dot android material button, med dot material button. Inside this one, width will be uh, 0 dp. Let's move back over here, 0 dp. And height will be wrap content. Okay, let me just move back over here. I'm going to give it the ID. ID will be btn encrypt. After this, I'm going to give it a style. Style will be text button dot icon. This one. After this, I'm going to um, the height and width we have given. Margin start I have to give. Uh, margin start. And I'm going to give it a 16 dp. After this, margin end. I'm going to give it a 8 dp. After this, I'm going to give a layout weight. That will be 0 0.50. After this background tent, I'm going to give it uh, to add the red color primary. After this, I'm going to give text to this one. So text to this button will be encrypt. Text all caps to false. After this, uh, text color into this one will be white like this one after this text size will be 16 sp and again uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the icon for this one so icons I've already provided in the first video so make sure you have downloaded from there okay uh, and I'm going to use the same icon so drivable slash ic underscore this one and icon tent that will be white let's close this and save it okay it's, if it's not visible that's totally fine it will be visible in a okay, once we complete this development okay next thing we again need one material button okay com dot google and write the same one we need okay so let's move back over here. So width will be zero dp. Height will be height will be uh, wrap content. And let let's make some space over here. So ID will be ID PTN decrypt. After the style, uh, we're going to set this icon uh, with not this one. We are going to set material components dot button text button just delete all these uh, text button dot icon like this, I guess uh, we did same mistake over here. So let me just copy this one and move back over here and paste it. Now here you can see this, now the button is visible. So we did made mistake, we have selected the wrong component over here. Okay, now it's fixed, okay. After this, uh, we have set the style width and height and after that I'm gonna set the march start. March start, that will be ATP. After that, uh, margin, end it will be 16 dp and weight layout weight will be 0 
After this, I'm going to set the background tint to primary. You can see this now the color is visible, the secondary button is visible. I'm going to add the text for this one that is decrypt. Decrypt. Okay. After this, we are going to add the text alignment to center. After this, I'm going to set text all caps to false. And after this, I'm going to set the text color to white. Now you can see this now the decrypt is visible. After this, uh, I need to set the text uh, text color we have already set text size to 16 SP. And after this, I'm going to set the icon that is uh, at the rate drawable slash IC underscore no encryption. This one, and we are going to set the icon tint. Icon tint to at the rate color white. Let's close this. And here you can see this now these two buttons are visible after this one is done next thing what we have to do is we have to simply add the text button which uh, which is required right so let's quickly do that outside of this one i'm going to add game new text input layout into this one uh, the width will be match parent and height will be wrap content again and uh, for this one i'm going to set the style so style will be at the rate style width slash with get dot material component this one text text input layout dot outline box after this we are going to give it a margin start that will be of 16 dp and margin and that will be also of 16 dp. After this, I'm going to give it a hint. Enter text to decrypt. Okay. Now we close it and inside this one, we have to add the text field. So let's quickly add that text input edit text. Inside this one, width will be match parent and height will be wrap content now you can see this now the input text to decrypt uh, box is also visible and this one i'm going to give it a id txt decrypt okay after this what we have to do is we have to give the gravity gravity to top input type to text multi-line after this, max lines allowed. Max line is six. Over scroll mode always. After that, scroll bar style we have to set that will be inside inset. After this, we have to set scroll bars. So scroll bars will be vertical. The scroll bar horizontal to false. Finally, we have to set the text color that will be of black and finally what we have to do is we have to set the text size so text size to 80 sp and let's close this okay now this design is done this is a complete application so let me close this and let's open the uh, let's run our project and let's see if this one is designed or not so i've started the application as you can see that So it's now installing and here we go. So now we can see that uh, our application is designed. When I click on this, uh, the hint is on the top. And if I click on these, these pages are empty for now. So now the designing part of this one is done. Next thing what we have to do is we have to start backend functionality. Like when I click on this, it should uh, perform the operation. Like whatever the text into this one will be uh, encrypted and shown over here. And when I click on this, decrypt the text, whatever into this one and will be visible over here. So let's do that. So let's stop the application. And before we do that, what we have to do is we have to create a class in which I'm going to write one method that is encrypt and decrypt in order to uh, use those methods in multiple places if required. So right click on this, click on new and select one Java class and I'm going to give it a name. So encrypt, decrypt. 
and hit enter it will create one class after this we are going to uh, give some values or some variable which is required that is a uh, private static final string and this is the algorithm on what use which algorithm we are going to input the data so algorithm is equal to blowfish which we are going to use and mode so mode will be blowfish slash cvc slash pkcs5 padding which we are going to use now the first method which we are going to design that is for encrypt so public static string encrypt encrypt in this one we have to pass the value string value and the string the key you have to pass on which key you have to encrypt okay so we are going to put the code into the try and catch block so if anything goes wrong exception not print trace in that case return and okay so over here first thing what you have to do is we have to generate this one secret key spec that is from java x crypto dot spec okay. and so this one generate this new secret key spec and so this one we have to pass the my key dot get bytes and we also have to pass the algorithm on which algorithm using we are going to after that, uh, you have to use Cypher. Cypher is equal to Cypher dot get instance. So this one we have to pass the mode. After this, we have to create the byte object, byte array, sorry, uh, IV bytes. Inside this one, new byte, and this one we have to pass Cypher get block size after the secure random new secure random and secure random dot next bytes into this one we have to pass the iv bytes okay after this what we have to do is we have to simply call like cypher dot in this one we have to pass cypher and cypher dot encrypt mode and to this one we have to pass a secret key spec and we also have to pass new iv parameter spec inside this one we have to pass the iv bytes finally we will get the byte array so byte array encrypted values is equal to cypher dot two final and set this one we have to pass value dot get bytes and whatever the value will be uh, passing into this one that will be encrypted on the basis of the cipher as we have uh, passed the block and can use this uh, IB bytes and also the secret mode and which uh, by using this um, mode we are going to encrypt it okay so now we got the encrypted value next thing what we have to do is uh, we have to combine the IV and encrypted data together. So let's do that. Byte combined is equal to new byte. And to this one, we have to pass IV bytes dot length plus encrypted value dot length. For that array, uh, for both, according to the combination of both length, we are going to declare a value uh, array of that size okay after this system dot array copy we are going to use ib bytes comma zero comma combined comma zero comma ib bytes dot length after this uh, we are going to use system dot array copy value dot 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 value comma zero comma combined IB bytes comma IB bytes dot length comma encrypted value dot length and the both value will be to that one 
of this uh, now the encrypted values combine next thing what we have to do is we have to simply return base 64 dot encoded to string base 64 encode encode to string guess we have used the wrong base 64 android dot encode yeah this one encode to string so you must have observed that this for base 64 i have used this android dot util okay so base 64 to this one we have to pass the combined dot base 64 dot default and this will encrypt the data whatever is required next thing what we have is we have to write uh, now for the encryption this is more than enough okay so next method which we have to write that is for decryption so public static uh, string decrypt to this one we will get the string value and again the string my key on the basis of which uh, we will decrypt and this will throw some of the exception like bad padding exception on um, such padding no such padding exception uh, no such algorithm exception invalid algorithm parameter exception invalid key exception of this illegal block size exception These all exception probably it can throw. So we are we have already declared it as throw so that it will not uh, return any exception for now. Okay. So byte and get combined is equal to base sixty four dot decode into this one. We have to pass the value and base sixty four dot default. Okay. After this, uh, we get this byte array. And we will get a b bytes. This is equal. Okay, is equal to arrays. Arrays dot copy of range combined comma zero comma eight. After this, we will get byte array again. Do this one. We will get encrypted. Encrypted values is equal to arrays dot copy of range into this one we have to pass combined comma eight comma combined dot length after this we have to create the object of uh, secret key spec new secret key spec and this one we have to pass my key dot get bytes and we also have to pass the algorithm which we have declared on the top of the class. After this, we have to use cipher. Cipher is equal to cipher.get instance. Into this one, we have to pass into this cipher dot init. Into this one, we have to pass cipher dot decrypt. Decrypt mode into this one. We have to pass a secret key spec and we have to pass new IV parameter spec into this one. We will pass IV bytes. Finally, what we have to do is we have to simply return new string and to this one we have to pass cipher dot to final and to this one we have to pass encrypted values and this will decrypt the text. So now our decrypt method and encrypt method is ready. Next thing what we have to do is we have to go to the home fragment. So inside the fragments, we have declared different fragments and we are working on the home fragment. So move back over here. So here we have a lot of things which is not required. So let's clean up. So these all the stuff is not required. By default, when you create these all things are there. Okay. So let me just remove all of these. And these all are also not required. So let me remove these. We only need this one and this one. Okay. So let's save it. On the top, First thing what we're going to do is we're going to declare all the variables which are required, like material button, simple field, so that we can extract the data. So private material button, and to this one, the name which we have given, there is two buttons. So one is PDN encrypt and one is PDN decrypt. 
So let's initialize that. And another is PTN decrypt private. After this, we have text input edit text txt encrypt txt decrypt. After this, we have uh, we need to get the database instance room db data base. After this, we have a string p. Okay. Move back to this one and over here, let me just remove this comment. And also, we don't need this, so let me just remove this one. Okay, after this, what we have to do is we have to create a view over here. So, view view is equal to inflator dot inflate, and to this one, we have to pass the r dot layout dot fragment home dot. We have to pass the container into this one. And false attached to root is false. After this, we get the database instance database room db dot open instance. This one we have to pass the activity. So get activity like this. Finally, we have to get the txt encrypt is equal to view dot find view by id inside this one we have to pass in r dot id txt input. After this, we have txt decrypt is equal to View dot find view by id r dot id dot txt decrypt. After this, we have ptn decrypt view dot find view by id r dot dot ptn encrypt. After this, we have ptn decrypt is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot ptn decrypt. After this, what we have to do is we have to perform the operation on ptn decrypt. Before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a method over here. What that will do is whenever the data will be encrypted, we have to save that up to the database. Okay. So for that, I'm going to write one method that is private void. It will return nothing. Simply save encrypted messages. Okay. So this one we have to pass the string encrypted text, comma, the string plain text. So we will create a message object. So message message is equal to new message like this one message dot set e text encrypted text. So we can pass the e text into this one message dot set plain text. So we will pass plain text into this one and message dot set creation time and will pass new date. Would automatically pick the current date. And we already have the database instance. So database dot main DAO dot save item into this one. We have to pass the message object. Okay. So now the task for the save is done over here. Okay. So this is just to save the message. So we are going to use this while we are designed for the encrypt. So let's move back over here and make some space over here. Okay. So btn encrypt dot set on click listener. Okay, new view on click listener. When you select this one, it will give a automatically a method that is a public void on view click listener. Okay, and outside this, we have to simply return this view so that we will get rid of this error. So here you can see this uh, over here, it was showing an error, but when I write, write, wrote this return view, the error is gone because we are going to return this view. That is the fragment. So inside this one, first thing, what we have to do is we have to get the, the string text, string value is equal to txt in, encrypted dot get text dot string. And we will check if value is not equal to null and not value is empty. If this is not the case, it means that this one is empty. In that case, what we have to do is we have to show a toast message. The toast inside this one, we have to pass the context, get context and the text, which we have to show is filled empty. And let's check this if this one is working fine or not. 
स्टार्ट आवर एप्लीकेशन So if I click on this, here you can see this field empty. If I write something, and now if I try to click on this, nothing is visible. It means that it enters into the if block. Let me just remove this and try again. Here you can see this field empty. So this one is working fine. Let me stop this and let's start coding inside this one. And for the formatting of all the text, I have pressed Control Alt and L in order to form. Okay, so move back over here and here what we will do is first we will get key is equal to database dot uh, key dao get all keys dot get zero dot get key. So as you have you already know that when we are uh, in the previous lecture what we did is we have inserted the key right. So on the basis of this key, we are going to encrypt the value. So I'm trying to get, as you know, that in the key table, only one row is there. So what I did over here is from that key DAO, I get get all key. It will select all the rows. From that, I have selected the zero row. This will not throw exception because whenever you start an application, the zero row is automatically inserted. And from that, I got the key. Okay. After this the string, we will get the encrypted text. So encrypt text is equal to encrypt decrypt class which we have created. So encrypt decrypt dot encrypt we have to call. So how we can directly use this encrypt because encrypt is a static method. By the class name we can directly call it. So if I move back over here, here you can see this. This is the static method so that when we use a class name dot this method we can directly use it. So let's uh, remove this if this one is throwing an error because oops. okay so move back over here into this one we have to pass the txt encrypted dot get text dot to string and we have to pass the key to this one now the task over here for the encrypted now we get the encrypted text next thing what we have to do is we have to set that encrypted text to the decrypted text box so set text and set this one we have to set the encrypted text okay now let's check if this one is working fine or not so let's start the application so i'm going over here three day days and if i click on encrypt here you can see this encrypted value is shown over here so if i click on decrypt nothing is happening so that's perfectly fine so next thing what we have to do is we have to check if we are uh, if we have to save this message into the database or not for that what we will do is get a list of key key list is equal to database dot key down dot get all keys let's import this one alt and enter import this and also we need to insert uh, import the list okay so now done Next thing we have to do is we have to extract the uh, Boolean message that is save messages. So key list dot get zero dot get message backup. So if you observe that in the previous video, what we did is uh, while saving this set message backup, we have did that to true. It means that whatever the message from the first we are encrypting, it will be saved. So let's move back over here. So we got that Boolean value that this is true. So you can enable and disable from the tool section. If you have viewed the quick overview video, then you must have observed that. If not, then just go and watch the quick overview. So if save messages, it means that if we have to save the message and then we are going to call this save encrypted message. So at this one, we have to pass encrypted text, comma, txt encrypted dot get text dot to string okay from this is the plain text and this is the encrypted text so if i go over here this is the method which we have written this is a plain text in which we have expected and this is the encrypted text so that's what we have passed encrypted text and this is the plain text okay after this what we have to do is we have to simply copy the values to the clipboard so bd utility dot set clipboard into this one we have to pass context to get context into this one we have to pass the get uh, decrypted uh, dot get text dot 
boost it because whatever the values which is being encrypted is being set to the txt decrypt dot uh, de decrypt value so what i'm doing is i'm just copying that to the clipboard after this finally what we have to do is we have to clear the encryption box so get text dot clear and finally i'm going to show it boost dot make toast into this one we have to pass the context and to this one we have to show the message whatever message you want to show i'm going to show encrypted text copy to clipboard encrypted sorry encrypted text copy to clipboard and now we have to set the toast dot length so length will be short and we have to simply show it so call the show method on this one so let's uh, delete this empty space and save it and now let's start the application let's check if this one is uh, being copied to the clipboard or not so set clipboard method which we have already designed in the first video itself so make sure you watch all the videos okay so let me show that quickly also in the clipboard we have used written this part of it so if you haven't wrote then please write this okay so let's Pause the video and you can write okay. and control alt L in order to form. So here you can see this. Now this one is formatted. Let's move back okay. and let's start the application. Over here, let me just script hey or hello world. So now encrypt it and here you can see this. Now the encrypted text copy to the clipboard. So if I long press on this one, it will show an option like this or oh, wait for a moment. So where clipboard goes, let's move back. Let's open some messages. Yeah. Into this one, open one, two, three. Okay, over here. If I long press over here, so will it give an option of clipboard? Okay. Okay, so it's not showing the option of clipboard over here. I don't know why it's happening. Okay, so let's try pasting this. So if I paste it here, you can see this, the same values is being pasted. And last we have five, right? So if I move back over here, hello world, which we have encrypted, right? Encrypt this and here you can see this, uh, this is the, now this XB is copied, right? So if I'm back over here, now let me just delete this and now paste it. Here you can see this last text is XB. So it means that this one is working fine, right? ETH and if you observe that ETH 7Y, everything is there. So it's being copied perfectly fine, right? Next thing what we have to do is we have to code for the decrypt. So move back over here and make some space. BDN decrypt dot set on click listener. There is view on click listener. And with this we are going to use this try and catch block so that to handle the exception. So exception ex if anything goes wrong, simply print the start trace. And uh, to this one, if anything goes wrong, then uh, ex or print start to be sent to this one. We have to part make the so make text to this one. We have to pass the context and into this one invalid encrypted data so that we can handle it. Post dot length short finally call the method show into this one. And another exception which we need to handle that is catch a bad padding exception. Okay, uh, ex dot print start trace, and we are going to show a toast. So toast. And here we are going to call this context, and the text which we are going to show is key changed or invalid encrypted data this will work when our key is changed so as in our application we also have the uh, 
permission to change the encryption key. Okay, so this is showing some error. Try block. Okay, so we haven't written the code into the try block. That's why it's showing the error. So don't worry, it will be resolved. So string value is equal to txt decrypt from the this one. We have to get the text dot to string. After this, if if value is not equal to null and not value is empty, then we have to go into the if block. Else, what we have to do is we have to show a toast. Toast make inside so this one we have to pass the get context, and to this one we have to pass field empty. Okay, inside the if block, let's press Control Alt L in order to comment. Here we will get this key key is equal to database dot get uh, database dot key DAO dot get all keys dot get zero dot get key. Okay. After this string get the decrypted text. Decrypted text is equal to encrypt decrypt dot decrypt into this one. We have to pass the value and we have to pass the key. Txt encrypt dot set text into this one we have to pass decrypted text. Okay, txt decrypt dot get text and we have to clear it. And also we have to put the decrypted text into the clipboard. So we have to do dot set clipboard into this one we will pass a get context. Txt encrypted dot get text comma dot to string. Finally, what we have to do is we have to simply make the toast. Create toast, get context, and we have to show the message. Into this one, I'm going to show decrypted text. Copy it to clipboard. Save it. And let's, here you can see this error for bad padding is gone. We can press Control Alt L in order to form it. Let's restart our application. So it's restarted. If press hello, move back over here. Click on encrypt. Here you can see this now. This is encrypted. If I click on decrypt, now the text is decrypted and decrypted text is copied to the clipboard. So if I try to paste it once again, here you can see this now. Hello world is pasted. It means that hello world is copied. Let me clear this and paste it. If I encrypt it, you will get the encrypted text. And we have already copied it. So let me move back over here. We will paste it. And here you can see this is a pasted message. Okay. So now this one is working fine. So the task for this one is done. In the next video, what we are going to see is we are going to see for this one. We are going to design the messages and uh, how to show the messages over there and how to fetch the data from the database and show it to the card view. That will be the recycler view. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and follow us on Instagram.